Lord, wonderful people. So we are to eat our for gain resting. And today we are pitching on Guinness Ghana PLC. We are recommending to a stock investor to look every note to get Guinness Ghana stock to buy because we are targeting a long term price at 362 pesos, which is a 47.28% on the upside of the current share price, 265 pesos. With our investments, are in, we are recommending to you to buy Guinness Ghana because Guinness Ghana can boost up a strong brand in the large market share. Guinness Ghana Limited is a world established leader in the manufacture and sale of beverages. And is able to leverage on its land market share of 59.28% up in the town market to further grow. Their combined market share growth rate stands at a whopping 0.5% year on year. Again, they can also boost up stellar financial performance. It has a solid balance sheet backed by revenue, EBITDA, and profitability increasing over the past five years, beating analyst estimates and that of their competitors. Again, they can also boost up highly experienced board members. They have the air to lower their governance risk and that have been providing their board members with top notch capacity training. Besides the recent addition of Mr. Abikoa and Mrs. Ngozi Abini, with almost 20 years FMC's sterling track record, how further that solidified the board. With all these, we recommend a strong buy from Guinness Ghana stores. Guinness Ghana Limited is a Ghanaian brewery active in the beverage industry. It is a subsidiary of the Amsterdam based spirit manufacturer, Yadio Islands Wooden BB. It was formed in the year 1991 with headquarters at Kasi Kumasi. Principal business activities include the manufacture, distribution and sale of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, as well as their ancillary products. You might have seen some of these brands on the market. With the year today's share price history, we see that Guinness Ghana have managed to increase their share price by an open 13.9% year to date. That's good for the growth investor. We see that they are currently trading at the price of 265 pesos with their market cap of 631 million Ghana cities. Adjusting for debt and cash, you get a total enterprise value of 762 million Ghana cities. Their three year revenue goes to stands at a whooping 22.5% with a three year average EPS of 143.8%. That's good for the value investor as well. You can see that although their revenue growth fell in 2020 after they were impacted by the COVID 19, they have money to increase it in the last four months by a whooping 13 times the previous four, which shows their end for growth is quite phenomenal. You can see that their compounded annual growth rate of revenue stands at a whooping 72.3%, and this shows that even with increased prices, consumers are willing to buy the paid premium prices for any kind of limited offerings. With the market and economy analysis, you see that the GSE Composite Index experienced a fall of 11.8% year to date. Meanwhile, Guinness Ghana Limited is the second best performing stock um, in the eight industry. To the economy, you see that the Ghana City have been implementing swings against the middle world currencies. It lost 45.1% against the US dollar in just 2020. If Ghana's annual inflation rate has related to a whooping 50.3% in November 2022. Um, Ghana's economy expanded by 5.4% from India earlier in 2021, which is expected to be 3.7% by the end of the quarter. What the implication here? You can see that with the unfavorable exchange rate, as well as rising inflationary pressure, this will continue to find a boost for which will cause firms to increase their selling prices, thereby reducing demand. But our investment is high. We are saying that Guinness Ghana performance for the stock investor have been impressive. You can see that even in 2020, where they were impacted by COVID-19, they were still able to retain 4% on to their equity holders. Besides, they were also able to pay dividend in over of 1.3%. Oh, notwithstanding all this, they have able to increase their retain earnings year on year, which shows that their financial health is a good one. With our what is now revenue forecast, you can see that even in a bad case scenario, that is in a situation where revenue growth rate have been fallen, Guinness Ghana was still able to reach the 700 million Ghana cities gap, which will be able to cover their five year average total expenses of 684 million Ghana cities, leaving a whooping 16 million Ghana cities for expansionary project as well as internet business. Um, we will see that cost of goods sold is high. This we believe poses no risk to the stock investor, this is because they have changed their reporting style and now they add excess duties to uh, their cost of goods sold, which have inflated their cost of goods sold by a whooping 16.5%. You can see from the profitability metric that EBITDA, gross profit, and net operating profit after tax have been on the upward trajectory for the past five years. I guess that EPS have been one of the best in the industry. You can move on. Um, investment is in the that Guinness Ghana, although they have been struggling with stabilizing their liquidity ratios, 
they should be put no risk in their stock investor. This is because the Andrew Finance uh, peers, the finance angle of the mother company, is willing to provide their liquidity needs at a uh, low cost and it's soft in terms. Even though that benchmarking gains that are against the industry average, you can see that it is it has the lowest share price. And even with that, they, uh, their three-year revenue growth rate beats that of the industry by hoping one point two percent. Their operating margin beats that of the industry by hoping two percent. Their dividend yield beats that of the market by zero point five times, which shows clearly that they are undervalued. With our valuations assumptions, we use um, the five-year government of Ghana bond yield. And adjusted for the default spread to get a review rate, we use Guinness beta of 0.1, and with that, we are able to calculate our cost of equity. For the calculating the cost of debt, we use the average lending rate uh, adjusted for the corporate tax rate of 25%, and now we get the cost of debt. In sum, we are able to arrive at a weighted average cost of capital of 16.32%. Our long term growth rate we assume uh, 3%. Our revenue forecast. We use a um, historical five-year average for revenue growth and the tax rate, we use um, gives an effective tax rate of 25% and we added 5% economy. With that, we are able to achieve our valuation model using the discounted cash flow model. With the valuation model breakdown, we see that we expect revenue to fall in 2022 and um, we expect it to increase steadily up to 2026. Um, cost of goods will be expected to take a chunk of revenue um, uh, and with all these things, we are able to project a free cash flow uh, with it being higher in 2022 and uh, then in fall in 2023, then it starts to rise steadily up to 2026, which is good for the investor. With all these, we are able to arrive at an enterprise value where we are adjusted for cash and debt to get equity value. Divided by dividing it by the shares outstanding, we got an implied share price of 362 pesos, which is 47.28% on the upside. You can see from the sensitivity analysis that even in a case where Guinness Ghana is not able to grow, their lowest share price is 2 cities, 22 pesos, which still surpasses that of the, uh, the current market share price of 2 cities, 5 pesos. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have found um, Guinness Ghana stock, please hold it. But if you don't have that, I recommend that you should buy now. Why? Because if you check the revenue growth of the industry, you realize that um, uh, Guinness Ghana has been able to beat the industry. Now, looking at that, they have a very good price leadership, which makes them have a very large share of the market. Now, with that, they are able to raise a lot of revenue, and you can, you can see that streak within the last three years. And then they have liquidity assistance. In case of, in case of any liquidity issues, the only finance is there to sort that out. And then there is the risky capital bonds as well. It's also a, a good reason why you should buy Guinness Ghana stock. Because in the next um, in next year, we are, uh, we are actually expecting that the market will not be favorable for you to buy uh, the government of Ghana stocks. And then Guinness Ghana has placed itself in the best position for you to be able to buy stocks with them that will be able to increase. Now to the risk and risk class, we are seeing that the, they have been able to cover everything over there, when you talk about the tax, tax revisions and then the rising inflation rates, the company has the experts to be able to deliver when it comes to building these solutions. Yes. Now, with the economics being said, it is now as a reason that you go by this over here, the FMG industry. It has averaged 10 value to, I think, 5.7%, pre-COVID era, 5.1% to post-COVID era. And it has a very high cash condition cycle. Minimum, a 15 days average and a 21 days maximum. Guaranteeing you lose for money. Now, now with the power, of, now with the industry analysis, we will not be like what is five forces. Now we say the power supply is very low because we think that in this kind of thing, we can source 80% of what is in the end product. Then with that, uh, I think the competitive price is really high. But the law is starting that I think they dominate 60% of the market value. And I think they account for it, I think 0 0.5 year on year, year on year. Old. And with the power buyers, we consider it to be very moderate. We have other partners with foreign America, Uganda, which is a solid round. With all this being said, in this Ghana, we promise you a capital position and we give them a number of pounds that in the industry. And I'm guaranteeing this money for this. Thank you. So, with all this, we so with all this here, uh, we are saying that you should have the ability because of their dividend payment, their capital appreciation, and also the risk that are going to be done about which will be affect you, the investor. Thank you. So I see a risk rate of 15%, uh, which 
instrumented this cultural spirit over the world. In your evaluation, when you say great spirits, do you think the current economy uh, makes government more current spirits? In your evaluation, you use government bonds. I'm asking between traded bills and government bonds, which one is much, much risky? So, um, buying in this kind of thing, 
the the only reason why I personally would buy this is that it's because we've actually prepared for next year. It's as though the company knew what was going to happen in 2023, and they've put in a lot of investment strategies. Now, when you look at the market cap of this Ghana, comparing it to the industry, we have a very uh, large market cap, which actually shows that investors are actually interested in this Ghana as well. But then, um, when, when you look at it, you see that the, the share part has been increasing and not value. So, when you compare that to buying treasury bills, of course, we know what's happening in the sector of the tax of the government and the but then, if you want more money for what you the money that you have, it will be good for you to go for the first stop.